how they all look like slaves. I think some play a little better than wolves. Whew. I, uh, barely made it back. Barely. It was bad. Um, I did end up with, uh, where'd my slime balls go? Oh, I threw them in here. It was close, man. It was close. I, um, uh, oh, uh, I got 18 slime balls. Um, I killed, I killed, they almost killed me, uh, as you can see. Uh, nope, I don't need those. I'm doing the clay thing. I gotta make pots. Um, <clears throat> so I, uh, I, um, waited till night, and then, um, little slime came out, like a, not a, uh, is it a medium-sized slime, I guess? I think that's how they go, right? Big, medium, little. <clears throat> and there's a medium-sized slime. And so I killed that pretty easy. Uh, I think it, it tagged me once. Um in the process of killing it. And so I got a few slimes off that. I killed a couple more, uh, the little slimes, or, uh, yeah, the little slimes. And then another medium slime, and then, whew, I tried to take on a big slime. Whew. That was not happening. Uh, I had to run for my life. <laughs> back to the, back to the fortress. Oops, I went too far. Sealed myself in. I guess I could take one of these. How many of those did I make now? Four. I think that's too many. I need to be making uh, urns as well. I need a piston for every one of those that... Um, for every one of those that I, I made a pot for. You know what, though? I should be... I should be throwing these guys in the furnace, too, while I'm doing this, so they can cook up while I'm waiting. I should move this over there. There's no reason to have it back here, I guess. Oops. <laughs> that was too early. That was too early. Um, but yeah, the, the big one. Woo, he, uh, he was going to do me in. I might look at this. How hard would it be to move this over here? Um, one, two... Three, four, right? One, two, one, two, three, four. Here? Maybe? No. Hmm. Oh, you know what? This one is just on fire. It doesn't... Nope. That doesn't make any sense. It has nothing to do with that. What is taking power down there? Oh, I just come over like that. Oh, I'm just off by one. I'm just off by one. All right, so we can put, shoot, uh, no, you're fine. We can put it here. 
Nope. We could... <laughs> We can put it here. So I will need one, two axles. Uh, yeah, I've got axles. Probably didn't have it in there before because of the um, fire from the nether rack. Okay, so we'll take this out. And then we'll take this out. Um, two, three, I think that's too many. Can I have a... Uh, man. Oh, I guess I want that. Why do you got that? That's mine. Let me go get a plank. I need a wood block, please. I need two wood blocks, please. Alright, that and that. There we go. Cover that back over. And then I want to move this back over here closer to the fire. Because, I mean, all that is done here, so, by the fire. Uh, okay, and then we turn these back into those for another round of jars. I really don't trust those things not to pop off and get burned up or whatever. I don't trust them. Oh man, you know, I probably could have fed my chickens again. It's noonish. How you looking over here? You look okay? Okay. I'm gonna go go feed these chickens. Since I'm gonna be working around here. how many adult chickens I had. So uh, I get this um, Universal Yums box, <laughs> which is uh, snacks from around the world. And uh, uh, I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how many months we've been getting it now, but uh, at least six months. And so, once a month you get a box, depending on what size you buy, how many snacks are in it, but it's just snacks from around the world. And uh, so then after dinner, whatever day it comes on, usually, um, we uh, all sit around and try out the different snacks. And uh, it's kind of weird, but... Um, I'm I'm a little I don't want to say amazed, but it's interesting. Let's go with that. It's interesting to me um, how many of the countries we've tried so far um, share. What did I do? I put a pot on there. Why did I do that? That was dumb. I just totally undid <laughs> undid what I made wow 
uh, but how they share similar tastes and uh, um, like we don't do a lot of hazelnut bars and they have like every country has got hazelnut something in it um, I can't for the life of me think of a single hazelnut candy bar that would be like this is a popular snack from the United States. Like, I'm sure there must be some, right? But they're not your standard, like, Snickers or Butterfinger or something like that. Uh, I find that weird. Not in a bad way. Not like, that's weird. But, like, interesting weird. Like, strange. I don't know how I want to even say this. It's not strange that they all like hazelnut. It's good. I like it. It tastes good. But um, it's it's odd. Let's go with that. It's odd to me that um, we don't do hazelnut like that. I can't think of a single candy bar that's not like a, this is a hazelnut bar. You know, it's like specialty chocolate bar that we do that has hazelnut in it. I don't know. Um, the other thing I find weird, and this one I do find weird, is meat-flavored chips. Um, I mean, like, chips made of meat. These are, like, potato chips that are meat-flavored. I'll admit, I don't eat a lot of potato chips, but we don't tend to lean toward meat flavored chips at least here where I live and um, uh, it hasn't been every country but three times now we have gotten meat flavored chips that's not true I guess technically shrimp would be a meat um, we had some shrimp flavored chips uh, potato sticks I guess they call them which we don't really do here either. Uh, I think the... Are they like Andy's fries or something like that? Or like... Crispy potato fries in a... Just in a bag, like a chip. I think that's as close as I've ever had here to something like that. Um... But, uh, yeah, you get some interesting things. It's not, it, they're not as weird for the most part as, uh, as you'd think, um, honestly. It's, it's mostly fairly standard chocolate bars and fruit gummy candies and, um, maybe some hard candies. Um, weird flavors of potato chip for us. Uh, today we had ketchup flavored potato chips. Uh, actually, they were potato sticks. Ketchup flavored potato sticks. Um, which are alright. Uh, I mean, they just... They taste like fries, a little bit of ketchup on them. Uh, they smelled more like ketchup than they taste like ketchup. But, uh, I did like the, uh, there was a white chocolate with rhubarb and, uh, strawberry bar. Um, I liked. Everybody else didn't seem to care for that one as much, but I thought it was pretty good. I think that was probably my favorite thing in the box this time. But I like, uh, I like fruit. I don't like fruit gummy candies, but I like fruit. And so it, it had, like, you know, actual shredded up strawberry you could see in it, and probably rhubarb um, mixed in the white chocolate. Tastes pretty good together. Uh, 
had two different marzipan uh, snacks in it this month. Ooh, face my sword. I got a sword off of somebody. Whew. Look at that. Chopped you right up. I was thinking of maybe adding another another uh, kiln on here. Let's see how that works. Um, I think I could probably put one in I think I could cap over this. Could I put it in the kilns this way? Could I put it in a kiln, I guess? Like right here? Mm, I'm worried about the fire burning up my stuff, honestly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust that fire makes me nervous. Just a little bit. Do I have all nine of those made down here? Yeah, that's a full set. Uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been pretty fun with that stuff so far. Um, we've done, um, Russia, uh, Ukraine, Israel, uh, Italy, um, this one was Germany, um, for Christmas it was, uh, a bunch of different places, um, I think we might have done a Britain box. Uh, the first box was Thailand. Uh, <laughs> that one had the shrimp. It was mayonnaise and shrimp seaweed wrapped potato sticks. Um, that was gross. It wasn't that bad, I guess, but it was an unexpected flavor. It was very mayonnaise. I was shocked at how... Oh man, my poor Efficiency 3 shovel there is looking bad. Bye, Efficiency 3 shovel. Oh man, did you see this? I was going through my, um, I was going through my drawers, my drawers, my chest. I had four blocks of iron ore just sitting in there waiting to be cooked up. Uh, I need my sticks. There we go. A little bit of that, a little bit of this. Daytime yet? Gotta make sure I get those eggs. How am I doing on mushrooms? Do I need to get mushrooms yet? Ooh, getting pretty close on the mushrooms too. Gonna need to do a round of mushrooms here pretty quick. I might have some mushrooms, I don't know. One of these days I'm going to learn what that looks like, so that I know when I can run out here and grab stuff. One, two... Three... Four... 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Ooh, the cow laid an egg. <laughs> Eleven. Twelve. Somebody owes me an egg. Thirteen. Uh oh. Two new chickens, one dead chicken in the wall. That was weird. Oh, you guys still aren't done. Wow. Mushrooms, please. Uh, mushrooms. Yep, I definitely need to do some more mushrooms. <laughs> I need to collect some more mushrooms. Some ham and eggs. All right. Well, uh, I guess we can grab this first. I'm really late for my gaming group tonight. I need to get in there. Yumbox, uh... Yumbox took up too much time. It was tasty, though. I liked it. They're not really waiting on me, though. Uh, I'm sure they're playing fine without me. We aren't at a spot that we need to, the full group going. I mean, they'll have to wait for me to catch up now, but it'll be fine. Playing that Final Fantasy XIV. Um, but, yeah, so uh, I finished getting these um, cooked up, and then uh, we'll be... Well, I won't have no gold or redstone, I guess. I need to go back. <laughs> Ugh, I gotta do some more strip mining. I hate strip mining. Looking for that gold and redstone. The occasional diamond. Okay, how do we do? Looking clean down through here. Oh, I see. Guy floating. Nice. All right. Well, with that, I am gonna call it a day. Uh, so be better than the small things. Lean into the light, and I will talk to you later. <laughs>